Google One is a website by, obviously, Google. This website helps you manage your Google storage. At the time of making this video, Google is providing 15 gigs of free storage to any registered user. Here you can see how much you currently consume. When clicking this, you can view the storage details or get more storage for a fee. If you activate the backup on your mobile phone, it will be displayed here. Viewing the backup details will show you additional information on the backed up apps, photos, device settings, text messages, and more. When you scroll down, you'll see additional options, such as getting notified about new Google One features and choosing a paid plan if you need additional storage. This shows you a general view of your storage. And here you can see ways to use your Google account storage. You can back up your phone, store photos, files, and emails. Scrolling further down, you'll see the available plans, their prices, and what's included in each plan. Clicking this transfers you to the plan selection page and allows you to get support. You can choose the support method and language. Let me show you how you can clean up some space from your account. If you click this and then this, you'll see an interface that helps you delete stuff you probably don't need. Deleted emails, spam emails, and deleted files. And further down is a section for large items. These might be files you do need, so be careful here. Let's say you want to delete this email with a large attachment. Click here to review, check any item you want to delete, and click this. As the file will be permanently deleted, after verifying, check this checkbox and click the delete button. Please subscribe. This is a well-established and reliable website to test your internet connection, among other things. For this video, I will show you how to run a quick test. To start the speed test, simply click the go button. A graphical interface will show you the ping and the chosen server. It will then start a download test. Display its results, then start an upload test and display its results too. Once the test has been complete, the results of the test will be displayed on a unique page. You can use this page to display these results in future emails or documentation. This website shows a long list of games and their current Steam discounts. You can use this section to filter and this section to sort. Clicking the column header will sort the games list by that column in either an ascending or a descending order. Clicking the name of the game here opens a detailed page of the chosen game. From here you can view prices, player charts, packages and more. This transfers you to the game page in the Steam store and allows you to make the purchase directly. This amazing website shows detailed information on computer hardware such as CPU, GPU, SSD, HDD, and more. Clicking the checkbox of two items in this list automatically transfers you to a comparison page. As you can see here, the comparison page is very detailed and includes, among other things, the user rating, the release date, the speed difference between the two, average score, market share, and more. A single click allows you to compare any of these with a different model from this short list. You can also use this drop-down to choose any other item from the full list. The same high level of detailed information is available for other hardware by choosing it here. Ever had a situation in which you are opening a website but are getting an error message instead? How do you know if the website is down or maybe it's just you? This website does exactly that. It checks if a specific website is down for everyone or just for you. Type the website's URL here and press enter. After what seems to be an eternity, but is in fact only 5 seconds, you'll get your answer. Is it everyone or is it just you? This is a very interesting and efficient website. It allows you to choose multiple apps from the list below and create an installer that when running it will install the chosen apps in sequence. Here, let me show you. Let's say you want to install Firefox, VLC and FastZone. Choose them from the list, scroll down and click the magic button. 
the installation file will be created and downloaded. Once the download is complete, click here to run it. Allow the app to make changes to your device. And just wait. If you click this link, you'll see the installation process. Your chosen apps will appear here in a list and will be downloaded and then installed one by one. You can see the installation status here. When it's finished, click the close button. VLC was one of my chosen apps. It's now installed and running properly. If you open Programs and Features, you'll see the freshly installed apps on the list and as you can see, they were installed individually and not in a pack. So if you want to uninstall any of them, just choose it from the list and click the Uninstall button. The last website I want to show you allows you to convert any file to any other file. And no, it will not convert a video file to a text file, but it does support most of the major file formats. All you need to do is choose a file. As you can see, it has multiple options here. I'm choosing a picture from my computer. Click the Convert button and available conversion options will be displayed depending on the file you chose in the previous step. Choose the destination file format from the list and click Convert. After a short processing, your file will be ready for download. Click here to get your file. With all its beauty, this website only allows you to convert two files per day. For additional options, check out the pricing page.